Hello, I'm John, the only banking systems engineer in the world, Termel. And the Proteus book by Morris West gave me the idea and hopefully the proper form of demanding an audience at the United Nations to make a presentation on Resolution C6 of the Millennium Declaration to use a time-based currency to restructure the global financial architecture and I want to demand an audience and say, let's not only accept the gold standard for collateral and a loan and the stuff standard of collateral for a loan, but also human time standard for collateral for a loan. So, leading up to that, I had to get to the United Nations at some point, and I explained how in 1993 I ran that big underground casino and made a million dollars, and how I had to blow it in six months. So I founded a p political party, the Abolitionist Party of Canada, ran 80 candidates, one more than the Greens for Prime Minister of Canada. And everybody knows that I've run for Ottawa Mayor and Premier of Ontario, and if there's ever an election for Prime Minister of the Planet, I'll be the first guy registered. So, here comes the United Nations, and at the Millennium Assembly, uh, this is the Millennium Forum part, 1,350 NGOs, non-governmental organizations, I got invited. And one of the clerks of the Globalization Committee had been a young mother who'd belonged to a Let's in Australia, two Let's's, and had found it had helped, so she suggested I'd give the speech on banking. And the chairwoman said, okay. So I made my presentation on the time standard of money, and these women... Two ladies rammed it through into the Millennium Declaration, Resolution C6. Someday your time is going to be collateral for a loan. This is from the 2000 September 7th edition of the New York Earth Times, which was distributed all over downtown New York during the Millennium Assembly Summit of Political Leaders. And at the bottom part there, you can see this was the gathering of the 180 or so world leaders. You can recognize many of them there. I may as well pan th quickly through there. There's Clinton, of course, and Kofi Annan, and uh, there's Putin from Russia, and quite a few of them up there. And uh, Oh, there's Hugo Chavez, and uh, Fidel was around there somewhere. But anyway, this was the World Summit of Political Leaders. And on the inside page there, you have, oh, on this side, you have Kofi Annan. You can see him there. And down there you got Fidel Castro. This you know, scene, scene it said. On this side you've got Ehud and Arafat, Tony Blair, President of China. Above you got Bill Clinton. Then you have the Prince of Saudi Arabia, now King, and Johnny Engineer Termel. I was there too. So don't cancel debt. Let's cancel debt growth. And Jesus, Muhammad, Nehemiah said, "Let the exacting of interest stop." So it says I was the lone activist from the whole Jubilee 2000 anti-bank World Bank movement who was there protesting. Scene, scene, New York Earth Times at the Millennium Assembly. So that was my impact on the Millennium Summit of Political Leaders. And I also was at the Millennium Summit of Religious Leaders with my Jesus, Muhammad, and Nehemiah all say don't let money at interest. And finally, Daryl Van Slack, a student from Barrie, had heard me speak. I'd been invited by former vice president of my abolitionist party, Chris Boddy, to give a speech in Barrie. And this kid was going to the United Nations, a summit of students. And he fell in love with the idea of a worldwide let's, and he gave a speech in the United Nations General Assembly where he urged the students to endorse what his friend John the Engineer Termel had gotten done at the Millennium Forum, and if not the political and religious leader summits, and endorse the Unilets, which they did at the same time as they endorsed that every country should send one youth delegate. And, of course, the UN censors cut out the Unilets uh, and the youth delegates out of their final resolution, so all these kids know that there was censorship that went on, and they all got shafted. So, I did write my letter to Kofi Annan, demanding my chance to address, inspired by the Proteus book. Dear Sir, I am John C. the Engineer Termel, listed in the Guinness Book of Records for having contested more elections than anyone else in history. And I attended the Millennium Forum as leader of the Anti-Debt Slavery Abolitionist Party of Canada. 
As the world's foremost professor of banking systems engineering, I have over 35 years experience operating zero interest, pure service charge banking systems, including being consulting engineer of the LETS, local employment trading system, anti-poverty program. My advanced banking systems engineering analysis at BankMath at my website has held sway on matters related to currency and banking in both the Psi Engineering and Psi Economics Usenet news groups for the past decade. I was invited to make the presentation on May 22, 2000 to the Millennium Forum of 1,350 non-governmental organizations on, quote, restructuring the global financial architecture, unquote, with a, quote, Unilet's interest-free alternative time-based currency, which was adopted in Resolution C6 to government in the Millennium Declaration, and I give the website. The forum urges the United Nations, C6, to make serious commitments to restructure the global financial architecture based on principles of equity, transparency, accountability, and democracy, and to balance with the participation of civil society organizations the monetary means to favor human endeavor and ecology, such as an alternative time-based currency, making humans equal with gold for collateral. Globalization Declaration themes leading up to the Millennium Declaration. Section 5, what the UN must do. H. Another area of study should be UNILETS, United Nations International Local Employment Trading System. I. Local exchange trade and currency practices should be developed further and examined for international application. The abolition of debts and the eradication of interest are, an essential, are essential components in pursuing sustainable human development. Abolition of interest. They finally said it. And J, the UN should convene a conference similar to the Bretton Woods Conference of 1944 to discuss what sort of new financial architecture is needed for a rapidly globalizing world. The adoption of the time standard of money and abolition of interest rates are both ideas worthy of consideration. So, the UNILETS resolution was also adopted by the students of the Millennium Cyber School Bus Conference held at United Nations in New York on December 6th to 8th. 2000. And there are the websites. The left social currency movement has since spread to over 54 nations around the world. It's more now. There were two major international conferences, one in Germany in August, and the other in the University of Quebec at Montreal just this last November, reporting on major developments in Japan. The International Time Dollar Congress takes place this year in Toronto in August. The use of interest-free time trekking social credits to save Argentine economy was the hit of the 2003 World Social Forum and should be the head of this 2004 World Social Forum, where I will be seeking their singular attention and support for the Unilex Resolution C6 of the Millennium Declaration, the time standard of money equal with gold. Let's have been established in Israel for Arabs and Jews in both Haifa and Jerusalem and are the only instance of cooperation between those two to date. As Let's is leading the peaceful and prosperous trading relations in Israel, UniLets will make peaceful and prosperous trading relations possible around the whole world. I am further known for my demand for ASA, global aspirin, amnesty for all financially induced crime, security with a UniLets interest-free credit card, and anonymity by name change for all who so desire. As I run for Prime Minister of the Planet, global aspirin, amnesty, anonymity, security. On, December, on 2003, December 20th, Hank Ketchum's Dennis the Menace at this website told the department store Santa, hearing his Christmas wish list, Dennis the Menace said, just bring me a credit card and I'll take care of the rest. So, well, um, I am going to take care of the rest for him. And uh, I'm asking the Secretary General on the implementation of the 2003 Millennium Declaration that po I point out it fails to mention the implementation of Section C6 Unilets Resolution. The time standard of money must be adopted by the UN to deliver on the promise to restructure the global financial architecture with an upgraded Unilets interest-free time-based credit and let the world's children take care of the rest themselves. I request and require 
due to the Proteus book, that this demand be added to the agenda of the United Nations General Assembly and that the Assembly invite me at its pleasure to plead it before the members. You are obliged to bring the matter to the attention of the General Assembly, which alone can consent to my appearance, as it did to the appearance of Yasser Arafat. I expect you to respond by strict adherence to the protocol and refer the matter to the heads of delegations to the General Assembly who will advise their respective governments and seek instructions. So, I am a slave to their debt system who shall never tire of fighting for my freedom. The greatest revolution of slaves of yore was lost by Spartacus challenging Rome when he should have marched on the true oppressors, Rome's creditors in Babylon. I am, my dear Secretary General, with profound respect, Spartacus at Babylon. January 14, 2004. And unfortunately, Kofi Annan didn't let the banking systems engineer speak, and the banking system has now crashed.